सो बिफोर प्लानिंग अ ट्रिप टू अ न्यू डेस्टिनेशन क्या आप ये सोचते हैं कि वॉट विल माई आइडियल ट्रिप टू दिस प्लेस फील लाइक वॉट आर दी एक्टिविटीज दैट आई वॉन्ट टू परस्यू एंड मेक दिस ट्रिप सो मेमोरेबल कि मैं अपनी यादों में इस जगह को बार बार देखना चाहूँ Hi everybody and welcome to the Maldives. Mera naam hai Tanya and I am a travel vlogger. And before even boarding my flight to the Maldives, I just had one thought in mind. I am at Cochin International Airport right now and yahan se main le rahi hu flight for Male in Maldives. I wanted to experience Maldives from many different angles and things that it has to offer. Like staying at a budget local island to see how locals live. experiencing luxury and even going on amazing deep dives that will bring me closer to the marine life of the place and i know before you even clicked on this video in your mind there are a lot of assumptions about the maldives and you probably resonate this country only with these expensive luxury resorts and water villas let me tell you a little secret there are also a lot of local islands over here where you can travel to on a budget without having to shell out a lot of money in traveling to resort islands so in today's video i am going to take you through the experience of a local budget island and take you to a luxury island called Bandos as well and see how it compares in terms of accommodation food activities excursions and the overall experience But before we jump into the video let me tell you that this video is sponsored by One Card but if you're wondering what is One Card it is actually pure beauty with brains it's a slick metal credit card which is controlled by an app and every time you bring it out to pay everybody is left quite impressed there are so many offers by top brands and also in app contests where you can win big prizes just like this trip to the Maldives there are rewards in every spend and five time reward points in top two categories instant redemption of points in app and your Points never expire. You can also control every aspect of your One Card with a powerful One Card app. You can set the transaction limit, change the PIN on the go, lock and lock your card, and also you have features like swipe to pay so that you don't need OTPs every time you're making a transaction. All this and there's no joining or annual fees, and you can instantly get your virtual credit card just by filling out some details on the app. I got mine in practically five minutes. So what are you waiting for? Get your One Card app. The link is mentioned in the description. box below The country Maldives is made up of a group of islands which is divided into 26 atolls and each atoll is like a ring like cluster of islands So where I am sitting currently is in the Wavu atoll and the current island that i'm in is fulidu so the place that i'm staying at is called thundi in my room over here is on the ground floor let me quickly take you inside and show you what the room looks like Literally, this is the area which is right outside my room, and I'll mention all the prices of, of everything on this island over here on the screen. I took a speedboat to come this, to this island from the airport, and that speedboat cost was forty dollars. Abhi currently public ferries are not running; otherwise, public ferry, ferries ka jo cost hota hai, wo three dollars hota hai. And guess what? You don't even have to pay a visa fee for entering into Maldives, and that's the reason why Maldives makes for such a great destination for Indians, and that is because it is visa free. Hello. So the best part about staying at Thundi on this island is कि यहाँ पे एक रेस्टोरेंट है and I think that is pretty convenient because इस पूरे आइलैंड पे honestly speaking यहाँ पे सबसे अच्छा खाना मिलता है we also have an Indian chef who cooks over here so the food is needless to say हमारे taste palette के हिसाब से बहुत ही बढ़िया है and Mohit who's the chef over here also specializes in making fresh dough pizzas hello Mohit hi Thank you for the coffee. Yeah. Mohit, where are you from? I'm from India. How come you're in Maldives? I actually wanted to learn more about seafood, so I came to Maldives. It's because I get very fresh seafood. Actually, the big, big fish. Yeah. Like uh, tuna, swordfish, and all that stuff, I can get very easily here. Great. That's why I came here to Maldives to awesome. learn about more that food. So that was Mohit. And talking about the food itself, it always felt very homely and well-made, and like a personally curated experience. This is called kotoroshi. Kotoroshi is basically a Maldivian dish. Chole. Oh my God, the food here is so good. Oh, 
flavor also looks so good. And besides this amazing variety of delicious food and hospitality, one of the things that really stood out to me were the people. Like Mohit, he was an amazing chef, and Henny, who's from Indonesia and also a great server, and made sure that each meal was served specially to our table. And they also made sure that every guest was treated wonderfully, whether it was their birthday or a special request, and we all got it. By the way, my side is Trippi Shan bhi hai. Hello. And हम लोग अभी एक sunset point पे जा रहे हैं. This island is literally just 700 meters long and 200 meters wide. So that's why getting around over here is very easy. But there are some very basic things over here, जैसे कि यहाँ पे एक store है. And we have a dive shop through which we are obviously diving over here, which is called Pulidu Dive Center. And बस इस straight road पे अगर हम लोग चलते रहेंगे, चलते रहेंगे हम लोग sunset point पे पहुँच जाएंगे. Sunset Beach. This beach is super duper pretty because the water is absolutely turquoise blue, teal. ऐसे सारे रंग देखने को मिल रहे हैं यहाँ पे. So it's very very rejuvenating, beautiful, and because it's breezy, the weather is also amazing. Oh, and by the way, पूरे island पे बस एक यही beach है, which is also the bikini beach because nowhere else on the island are you allowed to wear a bikini. पर मुझे यकीन है कि अभी आप ये सोच रहे होंगे कि इतने छोटे से आइलैंड पे कोई करे तो करे क्या एंड मैंने यहाँ पे छः दिन आखिर कैसे गुजारे बट दैट इज बिकॉज आई वॉज इन फुलदू फॉर परस्यूइंग सम डाइविंग विथ फुलदू डाइव स्कूल एंड इट वॉज वन ऑफ द बेस्ट एक्सपीरियंसिस ऑफ डाइविंग आई एवर हैड जिसके बारे में मैं अगली वीडियो में डिटेल में बात करना चाहूँगी बट अगर आप जानना चाहते हैं कि इस आइलैंड पे और कौन सी एक्टिविटीज की जा सकती हैं, आई थिंक देर आर क्वाइट लॉट ऑफ ऑप्शन इट्स इवनिंग टाइम नाउ एंड इन केस यू वनरिंग कि यहाँ पे आप शाम को मजे करने के लिए क्या कर सकते हो एक तो यहाँ पे सनसेट बीच है विच इज ऑल्सो पॉपुलरली नोन एज बिकिनी बीच और यू कैन डू समाइंड ऑफ एन एक्टिविटी लाइक कैकिंग और स्नॉर्कलिंग और मे बी इवन पैडल बोर्डिंग राइट नाउ इट्स क्लोज टू द सनसेट टाइम एंड आई एम थिंकिंग ऑफ गोइंग फॉर सम पैडल बोर्डिंग आई यू श्योर आई कैन जस्ट गो हाँ ठीक है चलो ओके आई टायर हाँ आज का वेदर बहुत ही ज़्यादा चौपी है काफ़ी विंडी है एंड द लाइटिंग ऑफ द स्काई एट दिस पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम इज जस्ट मैजिकल On my paddle boarding adventure, I wanted to go to the swing, which was a little offshore, and you can only reach there if you're kayaking or paddle boarding, and not really if you're snorkeling or swimming. But this turned into a real adventure because the sea was super duper choppy. Paddling back against the current was a real challenge, which is why I would say if you're not into unguided trips, do not opt for a paddle boarding adventure. But if this is something that you would like doing, please go for it. You will love it. The current was so high, I felt like I was never going to reach back. Today we are going for an excursion. There are a bunch of excursions which are available here, like dolphin snorkeling. You can go to a sand bank. I think we are going for shark excursion today. Shark, yeah. Yes, mm. that's really cool. So I have uh, Shifaz here with me, who's the co-owner of Thundi Sea View, and uh, Thundi organizes all of these excursions. Right now we're going swim with the sharks, and swim with the sharks. Actually, you can't do everywhere in Maldives. There are specific locations where it's easy to swim with the sharks, and that happens in Wabu at all. Uh, in this at all itself okay and maybe some other few places select locations so this is something unique to this at all thank you 
And how much do you normally charge for this excursion? Normally, if only two people going, it's uh, 55 per person. If more people join, that we give discount. We first went to a sandbank and now we are in such a place where we can snorkel with sharks. I have already snorkeled with sharks, but let's see what we can do with diving. But let's see what we can do with snorkeling. Okay, I just got my snorkel on. Shifaz here is helping me with the snorkel. Can you remove? Yeah. There are many adventures in the world which I want to try without it. I want to give you a chance to give you a chance or to give you a chance to give you a chance. But I saw a movie recently which is called Jaws and we are all scared of sharks because they just seem like such scary predators. So naturally while doing this or even before signing up for this, I was scared. And you can almost see how I'm trying to go inside water and I'm okay with being surrounded by sharks but ah, I'm scared. <laughs> you can almost hear me squealing through water. But then I was inside water and this shark came around and it almost felt like the shark wanted to play with me. It felt like these were all little puppies in the ocean. I mean calling them pets would be wrong and absolutely offensive because they are natural predators. But this was scary, it was exhilarating and at the end of the day, it just makes for a memory that I don't think I can ever forget. And after this amazing experience of feeling like a mermaid in between all these sharks, it was finally time to say goodbye to Fulidu, which is my local island experience. So the excursion is over and I thought it was not so different to diving, se, but snorkeling with sharks was actually quite different because they were so up close, it actually felt quite scary. I felt like uh, they kept telling me that these sharks don't bite because nose sharks have a different kind of a jaw. So it was okay, I managed and I actually had some fun because it was like overcoming my fears. We just got back and quickly packed up because today is our actually last morning here in Pulidu. And from here we leave for an all new experience which is going to be on Bandos Island. and welcome to the luxury side of uh, Maldives. I am in an island whose name is Bandos Island. And uh, Maldives ke private islands or resort islands are like this, where the entire island is owned by a particular property. And you have villas, water villas, nice places to stay at and everything on the island only, like restaurants, shops, souvenirs, excursions, activities, water sports. I am actually staying inside this uh, villa, which is a Duplay villa. Hai. And this part of my trip especially is sponsored by uh, Vanguard along with I think 12 couples who won a contest via Vanguard and they're all also here so yes without any further ado let me take you to my room so this is the ground level of the room but over here we have this amazing bathroom can I just take you to the bathroom already because I saw it and I was blown <laughs> let's go this bathroom is so massive it's like a full room in itself We have a commode area here, we have a shower here and we also have an area which is a hot tub area. And as if a hot tub and an actual shower area was not enough, you have an outdoor shower bhi here which actually even works. So on a smaller local island, you don't get so many bottles of fresh water in a room because there is no purified water, it all comes in packaged water and you have to buy packaged water if you want to consume more water than is given in your room. So 
के पीछे एक और बाथरूम भी है ताकि आपको अगर रात को बाथरूम जाना है तो नीचे ना जाना पड़े एंड द व्यू आउटसाइड द रूम लुक समिंग लाइक और पीछे बहुत अच्छी वेव की क्रैशिंग साउंड भी आ रही है सो द व्यू ऑब्वियसली लुक्स रियली नाइस बट नाउ आई थिंक आई गोइंग टू रेस्ट फॉर सम टाइम और उसके बाद मैं सनसेट पॉइंट जाने वाली हूँ बिकॉज आई वॉन्ट टू कैच अ नाइस सनसेट इट्स इवनिंग टाइम नाउ दिस आईलैंड इज एक्चुअली नॉट दैट बिग और इट्स बिगर दैन फुली दू आई मस्ट से इट्स प्रॉबेबली वन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट कमर्शियल आईलैंड इन मॉलदीज विच हैज अ कैपेसिटी ऑफ होस्टिंग फाइव हंड्रेड गेस्ट बट यू स्टिल कैन प्रैक्टिकली वॉक अक्रॉस द आईलैंड विच इज वाई आई एम हेडेड टू द सनसेट स्पॉट राइट नाउ एंड आई एम जस्ट गोड वॉक डाउन टू इट एवरीबडी फर्स्ट थिंग्स फर्स्ट लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द फूड बिकॉज यहाँ पे खाने की लिटरली बहुत सारी वेराइटी है इनफैक्ट आई वॉज रियली पजल्ड की मुझे एग्जैक्टली खाना क्या है बिकॉज देर वॉज अ बूफे मेन्यू फॉर लंच ब्रेकफास्ट एंड डिनर प्लस देर आर सो मेनी अदर रेस्टोर ऑल्सो दैट यू कैन विजिट आई एम हेयर फॉर लंच एंड वॉट वी हैव ओवर हेयर इज अ फुल बोर्ड बुकिंग फुल बोर्ड का मतलब है कि आपको सारे मील्स इंक्लूडेड मिलेंगे अपनी बुकिंग में ब्रेकफास्ट लंच एंड डिनर ब्रेकफास्ट में भी बहुत सारी वराइटीज़ थी वैन आई केम इन द मॉर्निंग एंड अभी लंच में भी बहुत सारी वराइटी है और यहाँ पे स्पेशली इंडियन फूड भी मिलता है क्योंकि ऑब्वियसली मॉलरीज इंडिया से बहुत पास है तो यहाँ पे काफ़ी सारा इंडियन खाना भी मिलता है और काफ़ी सारे इंडियन टूरिस्ट भी आते हैं बट यहाँ पे लिटरली बहुत सारे डिफरेंट देशों के लोग आए हुए हैं एंड मुझे ऐसा लग रहा है कि बहुत दिनों के बाद मैं इतने सारे देशों के लोगों को एक साथ एक जगह पे देख रही हूँ यहाँ पे एक हॉल है जिसमें सारा खाना मिलता है और तीन हॉल्स हैं यहाँ पे लोग बैठ सकते हैं सो दैट वे आई थिंक दिस आईलैंड कैन एक्चुअली पोस्ट अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल वी आर हैविंग डेजर्ट बिफोर वी फिनिश आर बट मेरे ओपिनियन में ऐसे बड़े रिजॉर्ट आइलैंड का सबसे बड़ा फायदा ये है कि यहाँ पे कितने सारे लोगों को हॉस्पिटैलिटी इंडस्ट्री में काम करने का मौका मिलता है प्लस इट क्रिएट सो मेनी डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ जॉब राकेश जी आपको कैसा लगता है यहाँ मॉलिज में अच्छा लगता है आप वैसे तीन साल हो गया ओह और आप कहाँ से हो वैसे हैदराबाद से हैदराबाद से शेफ आपका नाम क्या है मेरा नाम अजय सिंह है तो शेफ अजय सिंह हमें बताएंगे कि मॉलदीव में काम करना आपको कैसा लगता है मॉलदीव में काम करना बहुत ही अच्छा है वैसे तो लेकिन फैमिली से दूर है तो थोड़ा सा मिसिंग हो जाता है बाकी काम के हिसाब से बहुत अच्छा है आपने बेसिकली यहाँ पे इंडियन खाना बनाते हैं इंडियन शेफ यहाँ पे आप यहाँ के इंडियन शेफ तो अलग अलग जो कुजीन है उसके अलग अलग शेफ है वहाँ पे यहाँ पे मैम सारे नेशनलिटीज है इंडोनेशियन भी है फिलीपींस के हैं पाकिस्तान श्रीलंका बांग्लादेश सब मिक्सचर है तो बहुत अच्छा वर्क कल्चर रहता होगा ना हाँ की जो पे है वो इंडिया से कम्पेरेबल है बेटर है नहीं नहीं बेटर है बेटर अच्छी है बहुत ही अच्छी है तो अब है हमारे साथ यहाँ पे स्वपन आप कहाँ से मैं बांग्लादेश से हूँ इंडिया से हाँ मैं इंडिया से तो यहाँ कैसे आना हुआ मॉलडीव यहाँ मैं टू में आया था माले माले पाँच साल कम करके फिर बंडूस में आया थिंक ओके आपको हिंदी कैसे आती है इधर बहुत सारे फ्रेंड्स है जैसे अजय सर है और जैसे शेफ से और वेटर्स okay. भी है बहुत सारी ऐसी okay. फ्रेंडशिप तो वैसे आप बांग्ला में बोलते हैं जैसे बांग्ला में मोडी भी ऐसे बोल देते हैं अच्छा तो आप बा, बांग्ला में बोल सकते हैं हमारे ऑडियंस को कि ये वीडियो जरूर देखना अपना सबाई बेसि बेस भिडियो देखें और शेयर करबें सवार साथ सबाई के देखार सूझ दीबें एटाई धन्यवाद सबाई के थैंक यू बट बिसाइड फूड अगर आप इस आइलैंड पे हो वॉट ऑल कैन यू एक्चुअली डू टू स्पेंड टाइम वी आर ऑल एट द बीच राइट ना मैंने बताया था ना दैट आई हैव अ बंच ऑफ पीपल ओवर हेयर विद मी हुन दिस कॉन्टेस्ट बाय वन कार्ड एंड देर ऑल्सो प्रेजेंट हेयर सो आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू शॉर्टली इंट्रोड्यूस यू टू एवरीबडी बिकॉज वी आर ऑल प्लानिंग ऑन डूइंग अ फ्लैश मॉब ऑन द बीच चंद्रमोलिका I made everybody dance and everybody was a really good sport. Thank you so much everybody. Thank you. So besides doing a flash mob which was such a fun activity for me honestly. 
being on a resort island is all about exploring enjoying restaurants going for different activities and just having a genuinely good and chill time because you're technically on a vacation here so the first thing i tried was going snorkeling and uske liye mujhe rent karna pada gaya dive shop se to ye pehen ke rakhega kya abhi yes it's so hungry तो तो पूरा दिन पहन के रखेगा नाउ लेट्स गो स्नॉर्कलिंग ये सही है यार यहाँ पे एक्टिविटी करने के लिए और कुछ नहीं तो आप डस्ट वॉलर का स्नॉर्कल और आ, मास्क ले सकते हो ऑल द फुलीदू में ऐसा करने के लिए कोई चार्ज नहीं था बट यहाँ पे है पर कोई बात नहीं इट्स <laughs> ओके one another place which is worthy of mentioning is we are headed to the pool of Banda's Island let's see kaisa hai the pool of this resort island was just so amazing because not only was it a pool but also a bar area which means that you can just sit in the pool and enjoy we are at the pool it's a very nice pool yeah bahut acha heated pool hai also yahan pe bubbles hai and there's a bar here okay so we are going to order some drinks right now by the pool and this was honestly super fun i also wanted to try some water activities and excursions lekin the days that i was there so aaj ke din koi aisi excursion hai nahi jo mujhe karni thi because i wanted to go for sunset dolphin cruise jo aaj ho nahi rahi hai and generally even the price list jab maine dekhi i realized ki yahan pe obviously excursions are a little bit expensive so we are here at the water sports center and water sports mein i think stand up stand up paddle boarding jet skiing ye sab ye sab hota hai i really wanted to go for some jet skiing but priced between 80 to 100 to 150 dollars i felt like they were a little exorbitant and away from my budget and at the end of the day i feel like what we liked the most about the place was probably the variety of food and how delicious it was and that made up for it you like it mm to check out from Bandos Island now meri boat aa chuki hai all the saman has already been uh, checked in but overall this stay has been amazing the room was 10 on 10 snorkeling karne mein bahut maza aaya pool pe side pe chill karne mein bahut zyada maza aaya aur overall even the just the how picturesque this place is it was just amazing so agar aap maldives mein ek trip plan kare i would say keep it a mix of both budget and also luxury and honestly banos island has exceeded my expectation ye kuch zyada hi achhi jagah thi yahan pe thoda thoda har kisi ke liye kuch karne ko hai so aap yahan ke liye bhi apni trip plan kar sakte hain and keep a good healthy mix of also visiting a local island taki aapko pata chale ki maldives ka actual culture kya hai and with this i'm going to end the video right here see you next time from a whole new destination Make sure that you subscribe to our channel if you aren't already subscribed and also like this video comment down below and tell me what did you think of the two sides of maldives all right bye bye for me honestly leaving this place was quite bitter sweet and i absolutely fell in love with maldives so much so that from now on it will be in my top 3 destinations ever